and welcome back to another fantastic episode part. This is probably gonna be the... Hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Ah, <sighs> choices are funny, aren't they? Man? Hey. <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. There's a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? <laughs> oh my gosh, do you really think so? That's terrible. Oh, oh wow, true, I mean, yeah. Could you not tell? I hate you. Nope, just dirt. Come on. Damn it. I'm guessing that's the eponymous wall. Gravel. Gravel? That's worse than dirt. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! Uh, this should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Let's hope. Now hang on, Em. You don't have to do this. Already made up my mind. Oh, crap. Jesse isn't even trying to defend herself. Here it comes! The finishing blow! What? <gasps> Figured I'd try believing in myself for once and take a chance. It appears Emily has opted to not strike down Thank you. The you made the right decision. The well, you could say you really inspired me. Oh, uh, well, that's... Could, but don't. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea! Come on, over here! Yeah, why aren't you all killing each other? Tja, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Yeah, we're, uh, confused. I mean, usually the little teams all kill each other, you know? If I were you guys, I would put down your weapons. Yeah, but then we'd have nothing to defend ourselves if you attacked us. <gasps> kind of the point. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! When what they should be doing is eliminate... These aren't your games anymore, Hadrian! Uh, these weren't our games? Wow, my urge to destroy is... Dissipating. Oh, imbeciles! Lab? Lab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? With Slab leading the charge, it should be no problem at all. You should be on our side. Join us! I don't know. Facemate finds that idea weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's, That's right. inconsiderate. But you, when I was mean to you, pushed you around and made you go to the tower with me, you got that I was just doing my job and came anyway so we could be on time. That was real considerate. 
I will join you, Tiny Jesse. I think it's time for us to finish this. Together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the game. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. Nah. Hey, two slap. You'll pay for that. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no. And they've done it. The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the winners. Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. No! no! Mevia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. So help me, none of you will leave this place until you eliminate each other. Not happening. Oh, don't even get me started with you, Emily. I don't know, Hadrian. I heard Mevia explaining the rules. She explicitly said that whoever steps onto the winner's platform would be declared the winner. And here I am. It's over. No, no, no. Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun! So, you admit the games are rigged then? <laughs> sure! Okay, sure, fine, whatever. Maybe, yeah. Uh, Jessie won these games fair and square. She's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse. With the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay. What are you doing? Now it's been fun, really, but I think it's about time we end this. You stupid old dude. This is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now, now, because uh, I will trap you here forever. I am 100% fine with that course of action. If you want it, come and get it. Your wish is my command, buckaroo. I'll give you buckaroo up your ass. What the? This is useless. Well, well. Just when you thought M had your back. Turns out... M, come back. Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. I'm still with you, Jesse. Thank you. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. What the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. <laughs> Get up! No! Club. It was an honor to fight the time. Club. All right! This ends Come now! Come on, kid. You've shown you got skills. But you're still no match for me. We'll see about that! I got this, Adrian! Ah. Had enough, Adrian? Wait, wait! You're right! This has gone too far! It was just supposed to be a game. You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you forgive me? <laughs> oh. This game is no! over! And that's our game, sports fans. The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners. I... I lost? Hey, fancy meeting you here. You know, I've sent hundreds of competitors to these respawn pits. Never knew it hurt so much. Sorry, that's probably not helping your mood right now. It's over. I... No, I don't think so. It's us! Yeah! I am so happy to see you guys! You said you believed in me, Jesse! 
Figured I'd return the favor and believe in everyone else. You know, cause I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. I actually wouldn't mind a little help. Looks like an understatement to me. We got you, buddy. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, overalls. Over here. Tim's Whoa. armor. Belongs to you now. All right. Now Time this. to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, ha! nice choice. Not sweet. Payback Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian, Mevia, this game just went into overtime. Hell yeah! Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor. Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? It's time for you to be eliminated. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Please. Not gonna happen, chump. Oh, I'm going to enjoy crushing you. Just to try, ah. bitch! <laughs> Sorry. This is all mine! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Ta-ta oh. for now, bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse. us. Go, Jesse! I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You take this as going to help? You're deluded! Let's take him to the slab land. By far. I'm, I'm still workshopping that one. Shut up. Let's go. I will personally see to it that you and your friends will forever suffer. Shut, shut up. up. Just shut up. All of you, shut up. I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on. Jesse, remember Spleef. Got it. Bye-bye! I knew it! You and your stupid deals! There's no time for that now, Mevia! We have to get out of here! Come on! You Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Guys! How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. <laughs> hang on, hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again! We won't! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, 
Otto? You have truly shown my friends and I the error of oh, our oh, ways. <laughs> I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. <laughs> you have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? <laughs> Which Would You Rather Fight? Oh my god. And that's when I yanked Palma's redstone heart right out. Hurrah! And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. I know, right? Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. That all of them? Everyone that wants to go home, anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. What kind of people would want to stay? Seems kind of weird. Uh, well, uh, they are pretty fun games, you know. Admittedly, they got a little, uh, well, out of hand before. But I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen again. Yeah. And I'm going to help, too. You taught me a lot about fairness, Jesse. And I'd like to use that new knowledge for something good. Oh, and speaking of fairness, I think this is yours. Oh, man. There was some good stuff in there. I was really moved. Awesome. Huh. I guess he wasn't so immovable after all. <laughs> Idiot. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends, but what if I'm bored? Sounds like Otto is going to be, like, restarting the games. You could stick around and help with that. Jesse, that's an awesome idea! We can actually make them fun! M maybe I can be head gladiator. Yeah! Thanks, Jesse. I needed that. You're welcome. Anytime. Anytime, champ. Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper, all by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on, let's go find the others. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Um, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! No! Incredible! Nice! There it is. Home. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Did we go home? Now it's gonna be the ending without seeing the home. Oh no. Whoa! Jesse.
Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it, we're whole! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, oh, that's lovely. Ah, oh, you big sap. <laughs> I'm just so glad we're all back together. I that know, Atlas right? is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous. Yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. Pama's Redstone Heart. I know that Pama was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh. I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah. None of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. Yeah. The crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! And of course... The Mask of Cassie Rose. A.K.A. The White Pumpkin. Oh man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. I know. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Um, Jesse? What's up, Lucas? So, I've been writing stuff in here, you know? And, well, it's kind of become like a legitimate book. But there's just one problem. I still need to put what happened to you. You've, well, you've been the hero of this whole story. It wouldn't be right to end it without saying what happened to the hero. Just say, and she couldn't have done it without her friends. You know something? I really like that. There, done. Well, tell the next one anyway. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe we could put it in here with the other treasures. I know it's not as cool as, like, a portal atlas. That's a great idea, Lucas. It's perfect. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, flint and steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Come on, guys. We have to catch up with him. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Oh, my God. And this is going to be the end. Oh, my God. I so hate that guy. Wait, that's it? No, no more, you know. To the next one or anything like that. This is it? Is it? Is it? Whoa, what the? Oh. Ha! <laughs> well, in a very unfortunate and unexpected turn of events, it appears we are in the land of zombies that are indeed the size of chickens. Zombies that are the size of chickens. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like they're dying to meet us. <laughs> Get it? Because they're undead and they're dead. Oh, never mind. 
Not your best work, Mevia. Yeah. Awesome. So, that's it? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this Minecraft Story Mode 1 series thingy. And I hope we'll be seeing another one really soon. This was a fantastic part. This was a fantastic story. Everything. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I hope you have as well in this gameplay and everything. And well, I hope I see you guys in the next series that I'll be playing. So until then, bye bye and good luck.